Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Padovich here. A gorgeous day today. I mean, it's going to be absolutely beautiful with temperatures in the 70s. We're kind of in between systems. We had one that kind of skirted up the coast yesterday. It was a rough day in eastern North Carolina, but the main system heading our way is down here. You could see a couple waves of low pressure that'll be moving up. They will arrive here in the Carolinas overnight tonight. And the main risk is not going to be severe weather per se, but likely flash flooding. But I do want to show you the severe weather risk because I do think there's a potential we could see a strong storm or two in parts of the area tomorrow. I'm going to quickly flip over and just show you the day one outlooks here. Um, whoops, let me grab that. We'll show you the outlooks, which are going to be down here today. You see that low risk, the area in yellow. That's today's risk. Let me turn off the radar. Um, so today's risk is right there. We'll go to tomorrow's risk, day two. And you can see the risk kind of shifts down to Florida. But I'm keeping an eye on the Carolinas as well. And then day three, you can see our next system. By the way, that's going to be our system for the weekend. We can get more into that as well. But rainfall is going to be the biggest calling card from this one. Um, we look at the flash flood outlook. I'm going to turn off the severe weather outlook. This is the flash flood outlook today. You can see the low risk right there. Um, that's the risk for flash flooding. Day two, which is tomorrow, get a little break. We get into a lull. And then the next system coming up as we go into the end of the week. So yeah, we've got the potential for some, some heavy rain this week. So let's get right into the future cast. All right, let's dive head first into the future cast. So this is 10 a.m. this morning. We'll go into the afternoon hours. We stay dry this afternoon as we get into the evening hours after sunset. Sunset's around 625 tonight, uh, 7 o'clock. So we're dry through sunset. After sunset, maybe a few sprinkles by 8 or 9 o'clock. But you can see the bulk of this rain is going to arrive during the overnight hours into early on Wednesday. So it's 2 o'clock in the morning. The first batches of rain are coming in. Uh, we wake up Wednesday morning. So the Wednesday morning commute is not looking great. <laughs> I mean, it is going to be soaking wet. Bus stops are wet. So just plan ahead. Wednesday morning, not great. It is going to be a rough commute. You know how roads are around here. When it's wet, it's pretty brutal. Now through the middle of the morning, it's still raining. As we get to about the middle of the day, this is where things get a little more interesting. So I'm going to stop this at six o'clock. There's, there's clearly a big wave of rain that's with us most of the day, but then there's a lull that develops. And then there's a little low. So there's a low here with a warm front, cold front. These storms right here that I keep circling, these are the ones we got to watch. If there's going to be a strong storm or two, I think it's that little batch of storms moving up. But it looks like it stays mainly between, I'd say, Augusta and Myrtle Beach. So for the low country, up into the Midlands and then the PD region, that's the area we'll watch. And then heading towards Cape Fear area, that's the area we'll watch. That looks like it stays south of the state line, but that's the batch of rain We've got to watch and I'll loop this whole thing. So this is a 48 hour loop. You can see Wednesday is not going to be a great day. That's a lot of rain. So how much rain are we talking about? Let's take a look at that. So let's look at some rainfall totals. So this is basically tonight through tomorrow morning, overnight rain, not a big deal. During the day, Wednesday, these are the totals I expect around an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half back to the west. That's actually OK. We can stand that. It's going to be an all day rain. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be it's going to be heavy. But I think Wednesday's event is not that big of a deal. The problem is we get that rain there. Everything's saturated. And then less than 36 hours later, we get another system that comes in Friday night into Saturday. And that system dumps an additional maybe inch and a half to two inches. So by the end of the week, this is the seven-day rainfall forecast, you could see a big chunk of our area is going to get one to maybe three inches of rain. So the rain event on Saturday is more widespread and heavier, but it's on top of what is likely going to be saturated ground from Wednesday's event. So that's where I start to worry more about that secondary event. Let's take a real quick look at that secondary event just from a long-range standpoint. So we're going to look farther out in the guidance. This is the first one on Wednesday. You can see that system moves through. It looks just like we did with the short range. So we get into a nice break. This is the good news. Thursday looks completely dry. Um, so Thursday doesn't look bad at all. We go through the morning. We're completely dry. But as we get towards Friday morning, here comes our next system in from the west. 7 a.m. We're dry. So the rain doesn't move in Friday till late in the day, probably after dinner time, to be honest with you. So I don't want to say Thursday and Friday are bad days because they actually will end up being decent. It's Friday night into Saturday morning. Um, this is early on Saturday morning, 1 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock. So look how widespread the rain is. I mean, this is a, a much bigger system. And if this heavy rain sets up down here, this will be over an area that we got hit with on Wednesday. So you get the idea. You know, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, it's raining. It's probably going to rain through the evening. And then it starts to push out. So it's not it's not a washout of a weekend, by the way. It's really a Friday night and most of Saturday. By Saturday night, better weather moves in. And as we go into Sunday, we actually could end up with dry conditions. So 
it's something we're keeping an eye on. Just be ready. We've got two storms this week, one on Wednesday, one Friday night and Saturday. And right now the severe weather risk is low, but flash flood risk is probably the biggest issue we're going to have to deal with.